and Justice Development and Peacemaker Center in Oshobo, the Ocean State Capital, has empowered 20 granites with startups, tools, and monetary grants after a skills acquisition training. Olasukomi Ogumiko completes this report. These youths are graduating from a training cycle by the Justice, Development and Peacemaker Center, JDPMC in Oshobu, the Oshun State Capital. They have learned ICT skills, hairdressing, fashion designing, makeup artistry, among others. Assistant coordinator of the group, Reverend Father Stephen Okurume, reeled the achievements of the scheme and their efforts in reducing the crime rate and alleviating poverty within Ocean State and Nigeria at large. Uh, today is a special initiative for our youth. You know, actually this program actually closes the initiative work for our youth in the year 2020, in which we have empowered over 400 youths. You know, these 20 beneficiaries today, they have been tutored, they have learned different skills. And today we are actually sending them forth to go and showcase it to the world, to the society they are. Wife of the Oshun State Deputy Governor Oyefunke Alabi and Oba Ezekiel Adeniro of Okeibode called on the participants to hit the ground running and develop good attitude and integrity to excel in the business world. I need to work in order to feed my family. I need to work to be a good representative of Nigeria. I need to work to be a good child of God. That is the only time that you're able to turn things around. Then you need to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. We heard on this slide, and we heard uh, the young man talking about HIV. I want to encourage us. HIV is a condition. Many people, many people have said they have one or two conditions. It may not be written over there. It may not be presented. But that is just a condition. It shouldn't define, it shouldn't map your life. Beneficiaries of the intervention expressed their joy and commended the group for extending a helping hand to them. Well, um, to whom much is given, much is expected, as usual, and we want to say thank you to JDPMC for this opportunity to learn and to make youth not being vulnerable. It's rare to see an organization that supports youth. It's very, very rare. But we give thanks to them for supporting youth. Organizers of the program also call on the government to focus on vocational education as a means to empower the youth. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.